Welcome back to Bay Area Focus. From inland voyages to canoe trips, the Marine Science Institute is all about hands-on learning. Mary Lou Seif, Executive Director of the Marine Science Institute, joins me now. Thanks for coming on the show. Well, thank you for the invitation. So tell me about the Marine Science Institute. What is it? The Marine Science Institute is a nonprofit that teaches kids about environmental education through engaging in interactive hands-on activities. And through these experiences, we hope to create stewards of the environment and uh, have a respect for the environment. And also as kind of a hook to get them excited about mm -hmm. science. What are some of those hands-on activities? We have, um, activities on the ship. We have a 90-foot research vessel that takes the children out and they work all the oceanographic equipment, catching fish, catching mud and um, benthic animals, uh, plankton, um, and learning exactly what's out there. Sure, this is a picture right now. Are they on the ship there? Yes, I think they, they are. are. Yeah, it looks yes, like they it. are. Um, and so when you look at the bay, you can't see anything underneath the water, but it is teeming with life. So by bringing it on board and allowing them to touch the animals, it gets them excited <laughs> and uh, really want to help protect, as you can see here with the, the leopard shark. Um, how many kids get to say they got to, to touch a shark during the day? Yeah, no kidding. And I'm sure that um, they're learning all of these new things. Are they shocked by what they learn? Yes, yes. They're... Um, uh, excited about seeing the types of animals that are there, being able to actually touch them, handle them. It's not something they're reading in a book. Right. There's an, an experience that they're, uh, they're able to enjoy. And what does that do for the kids to get that hands-on learning versus reading it in a book? It makes it relevant. It makes it exciting. Um, when you're just reading, it kind of goes um, in one ear and out the other. Um, by actually showing them and allowing them to touch it and do it, the, you reach them in a different um, way than just reading about it. An, sure, an and item. you have a variety of programs. You have school programs, you have afternoon programs, and you have summer programs. Yes, we have um, afternoon programs, so that can be a continuing series that students come and work on different topics, different um, environments throughout, throughout the uh, six to eight weeks that they're involved. Uh, the summer programs are week-long programs and we have it for entering kindergartens all the way up through high school kids and each one delves into different uh, topics different habitats around the bay area um, and they spend a day out on the on the ship um, even being able to drive the ship um, and really learning uh, firsthand what's out there who teaches them we have a super uh, staff of college graduate instructors that have come to us from all over the United States and we train them specifically for the San Francisco Bay Area because there is not that much information on the specifics of the San Francisco Bay. So they go through uh, a lot of the training and they are awesome. They show their passion, their excitement, and they get these kids totally involved. Do you feel like what they learn? I have two kids, so I know what they bring home from what they learn in the classroom. Mm -hmm. Do you think that because they're learning about the environment and the importance of uh, conserving and, and things like that, that they're bringing that home? Yes, they are. We have found that the best way to reach the adults is through the kids mm -hmm. uh, because they will bring that information home. So obviously this is um, about the environment, so there must be a special celebration for Earth Day every year. We have a wild Earth Day um, at our site. Uh, it's an open house where we open it up to the whole general public, and we have generally between 1,500 and 2,000 people come in and spend the day doing ship activities, land activities. We have bands, we have speakers, we have movies, uh, we have shark feeding, we have um, all sorts of hands-on activities for people of all ages. We saw um, the picture of those students and there were a lot of girls and boys in that. And we found, well, our staff is predominantly female. And okay. so having those females as role models, especially when you get into the middle school area where girls start backing away from science, it's showing them that they can be cool and, and still go into science. Why is that? Why are girls backing away from science in middle school? I think some of it is peer pressure, some of it's intimidation, some of it's just boredom. They're just not connecting with it. Mm -hmm. And so by getting them out there um, and showing them a role model, showing them what they can do with it, um, gets them excited about it. How many students do you reach in a year? 
over 55,000 students a year now. And wow. since 1970, when we were founded, we've had over, well over a million students go through our program. That's amazing. That is a lot of students. So how do the schools choose which program to sign up for? And how that how all does of our work? programs are correlated with the state standards and so we have a scheduler who will help them work out which program fits best into the curriculum that the teacher is um, teaching so some of them use it as a stepping off point to get kids excited and some of them use it as a culmination activity after they've studied the um, the curriculum. It sounds like they're learning a lot, but it sounds like a lot of fun. It so, is. Yes, it does sound like that. So Mary Lou, thanks so much for coming on and telling us all about it. Well, thank you. And for more information on the Marine Science Institute School and Family Programs, please log on to sfbaymsi.org. Again, that's sfbaymsi.org. Coming up, we'll learn about a variety of health and housing services in the South Bay. We'll be right back.